I'm getting kind of bored of my YouTube studio setup. I've had this thing going on for a while now, but what could I do instead? I know. Welcome to my new office. All right, it's a gallon of paint, but look, it makes a big difference. Now, I chose this very, very bright color for a couple of reasons. Number one, it's the same color that's in my logo. Number two, I figured it would almost act like a green screen. So if I am standing up against a blank wall, the color is such an intense turquoise that it'll probably work just like a green screen if I ever get the urge to use a green screen, which I don't do that frequently. But it's easier than setting up the big frame with the big green sheet and all that kind of stuff. So I figured this way I can have this as my backdrop or I can have this little corner with the chair. And I haven't really decided how I'm gonna decorate it yet, so it's pretty plain right now, but maybe I'll have a plant or maybe I'll have a couple of shelves behind me. That's still a work in progress. And this way, I don't have my lights, because I leave my lights set up all the time. They're not in my way. I don't have to constantly be cleaning my desk because normally when I film, I got paper all over my desk. I take all the paper off, I put it on the floor, I film. Then it never makes its way back onto my desk. And so after a week, I've got piles of paper on the floor because let's face it, that's just how I am. So what things do you need to have a home YouTube studio? It's really very simple. We don't need a ton of stuff. Number one, you need something to record with and your phone will be just fine. If you don't have a fancy camera, if you don't own a camera, you don't want to buy a camera, your phone will be just fine if it's a couple of years old. If you've got like an iPhone 6 or higher, um, if you've got an Android that's a couple of years old, the camera in that phone is more than sufficient to do YouTube videos. So feel free to use it. So if you're looking for a new YouTube studio setup, I encourage you to think of a couple of things. Where could you film where you could set up your equipment and just leave it set up all the time? Because it's so much faster if you don't have to set it up and take it down and set it up and take it down every single time you record. You're much more likely to get up and record a video if everything is sitting right there just waiting for you to come and use it. Next, you want to make sure that you have good lighting. So if you don't, if you're not facing a window, consider having a ring light or a couple of soft boxes, just a little bit of light that is shining on you. Have a decent phone or an entry level camera. It doesn't have to be a big expensive camera. I have the Canon T7i, which is a pretty entry level DSLR, but honestly, I film on my phone just as often, if not more often than I film on the Canon. And then last but not least, some sort of microphone so that you are easily heard and you're not shouting across the room to be heard by the camera. Now this is a very basic setup. I'm not going into a lot of really fabulous lighting options and things like that. There are far more videos on YouTube than I could possibly imagine. Just Google it, you'll find a million of them. But I wanted to show you how you could get started making YouTube videos at home very easily. Too many people let the technology overwhelm them and then they just don't even start. So all you need is your phone, your microphone, decent lighting, and a, a reasonable backdrop. You don't want it to be incredibly cluttered behind you. You don't want a lot of things that are going to pull focus away from you. Because this is where we want the focus to be, right? You are speaking to your ideal prospect and we want the focus on you. So this is my new YouTube studio setup. I know the color is kind of crazy. I'm interested to hear what you think, whether you love it or you hate it. I love it, so. It is what it is. I don't plan to paint it again next week, so I hope you like it. If you're a real estate agent and you are spending too much time editing these videos, click this video right here and watch the one that I did about how to hire a virtual assistant who can do all of the editing for you.